Hello and welcome to the Critter and the Butterfly YouTube channel. I'm Matt, the Critter part of the duo. Today we're going to take a look at one of the newest accessories for the Trail Manor, the Westinghouse iGen 4500 DF Inverter Generator. Come along and let's check it out. Hi everyone, the UPS driver stopped by and dropped off us a little something for the Trail Manor. The Westinghouse iGen 4500 dual fuel generator. Great for camping or just in case the power goes out, we can run essential things in the house and not have to worry about our food going bad or it being super dark or not being able to charge our electronic devices. So we're going to crack this guy open, see what's inside, and then we'll set it up and put it through its paces. The Westinghouse iGen 4500DF is a portable inverter generator that can run on gasoline or propane. There's a small performance penalty when running on propane, but you don't need to keep containers of gasoline around. Its key features include electric or recoil start, remote start, 20 amp convenience and 30 amp RV outlets, all circuit breaker protected, an LCD data center to show key information, a low oil shutoff system, large wheels and a retractable luggage style handle, and two large carrying handles on the top at each end to move it around, and it's EPA, CSA, and CARB compliant. It puts out a stable 120 volts AC at 60 Hz and is much quieter than other generators in its class, as low as 52 dBA. It weighs in at 98 pounds or 44 kilograms, so you aren't going to one-hand it into the bed of a truck, and it's 25 and a half inches long by 17 and a half inches wide and 20 and a half inches high, or 622 millimeter by 445 millimeter by 520 millimeter. So it's a fairly imposing unit. If you need the quiet of an inverter generator, but the higher output of an open frame generator, the iGen 4500DF might be a good choice. All right, let's see what they sent us. Open up the box. Ooh, smells like the Far East. We have the manual and a couple other little items of paper. We have a quick start guide, very nice. A large piece of styrofoam which contains our regulator our hose and the generator We have a box of goodies. Tools. Our break-in oil is here in the box. A funnel. And what's in here? Aha! A wall wart to charge the battery, I'm thinking. So that is what's in here. Anything else hiding in here? Nope, doesn't look like it. 
Okay, there we are. I would be He-Man and try to lift this thing, but I know better. So once I get it out, I'll give you a look. So there it is. It's been released from its cardboard cocoon, and this is what you get. The next step is to take it out, set it up, and see how it does. The first thing it wants is oil in the crankcase. Let's remove the oil fill cover. I know I'm going to make a mess of this, so I'll just put a paper towel inside first. Now remove the oil fill drain plug. Cute little thing, isn't it? Then the handy foolproof funnel that was included in the kit. Once I remove the matte proof seal, I'll put in around 0.6 quarts of the four stroke engine oil that was also included in the kit. You'll know the oil is at the proper level when it's even with the threads for the fill plug. Now that the crankcase is full, I'll reinstall the fill plug. Then replace the engine oil fill cover. Voila! All right, let's do the battery. And that's just removing this little plastic piece. And then we plug these two guys together and hope nothing explodes. The battery connections are done, so we can seal up its compartment. There we go. Let's turn the engine over before we attach the fuel to stir up the oil before starting. Mains power on, start. Now we'll give it something to eat. Let's hook up the propane. Hose has got two different fittings. Flared one goes there. Flat one goes on that guy. With the handy wrench supplied in the toolkit, we tightened up our propane on the generator and tightened up our propane over here on our regulator. We are tightened onto the propane can. Let's turn the propane on and see if we detect any leaks. All right, finding no leaks. We have propane. We are connected to generator. Generator is in the propane position. Let's see if it starts. Power on. Hey, it starts. And runs. Tells us we have no load. 124 volts. We're going to let it run for a couple minutes to uh, get itself worked in. Then we'll go hook it up to the trailer. That's the eco mode. It'll idle nice and slow until it gets enough load on it, then it'll kick it back up. So there we are. We're out here by the trail manor. Our propane is on. Our power is on. All the breakers are shut off in the trailer. And 
we will use the fancy remote control to start it. Alright, let's plug in the trailer. And then I'll go turn some power on. Take a little walk and see how this thing does sound wise from a little further away. So we're at the, I guess there's a customized 25 feet or customary 25 feet. The trailer's 27 feet long. So we're about 25 foot away, and there you go. I can actually talk out here, and you could probably hear me over the generator, and if somebody was standing next to me, they could hear me too. One of the cool things that I want to try is hooking up to this guy so we can drive it off of the house propane. We'll see. So there you have it. The Westinghouse IHN 4500 DF attached to the Trail Manor 2720SL. like a charm. Click the thumbs up button if you like the video. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to be notified when we upload something new. Thanks for watching and safe travels.